Hey, Coach. So we talked about it before the game, just the danger in playing the same team back to back and how you have to really be ready for the added energy that they're going to bring tonight. Was that the problem or what do you feel like was the difference between tonight and Sunday? Well, certainly they played a lot better. Uh, Steph Curry played an outstanding game. That's an understatement. Um, uh, you know, the first half, we didn't shoot the ball nearly as well as we did the other. So it was the, the it kind of flipped as, as opposed to our first game with them. But uh, we expected them to come out and play a little bit harder and a little bit better, and they did. AJ, go ahead. Second question. So you mentioned Steph Curry shooting night. He was lights out. Was What was the key to that, do you think? Well, he did a little bit of everything. I mean, he uh, he penetrated in the lane. He was 10 for 15 from twos, got to the free throw line. Obviously, he shot some threes. He shot, you know, he had 31 at half, and he only and he only made three threes. So uh, he scored in a variety of ways. Uh, you know, if when, uh, when we tried to get the ball out of his hands, he was able to get it back in his hands. So, you know, he just – it was a great performance by a great player. And last – can I go again, Jacob? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay, so the last thing then is obviously road trip ends, first one of the season. How would you recap it? I believe you finished 500. Well, um, you know, if you can go 500 on the road, uh, you know, that in general, that's a good thing. But, you know, losing the last one on the trip uh, was disappointing. We had a chance to go three and one, which would have been great. Um, but, you know, anytime you can go on the road against – three quality opponents and split, that's probably a good thing. But it's just a little disappointing right now having uh, one, two out of the first three. Next question is coming from Dwight James with NBC Sports Northwest. Terry, uh, we see Dame get doubled and tripled quite often and how it affects him and all. And I'm curious why why you don't do more double or even triple teaming the guy who's getting 60 on you. Even at the end of the game, he's coming off screens clear and making passes to Wiggins in the corner and things. Uh, I don't. I don't understand why the reluctance to maybe try to get the ball out of his hands. Well, uh, I'd be glad to sit down and watch some video with you. But when we did, he split the double teams and got into the lane in the first half. Uh, we doubled him one time, and then he quick got the ball back and got a three up. The reason he passed to Wiggins in the corner is because we were up on on the ball screen. He got by us, and we came to help, and then he kicked it out. So. Uh, it's not like we, we didn't give him a lot of attention. Our bigs were up. Uh, he just, like I said, in the first half, our bigs were up and he got into the lane. So it's not like we didn't try. Yeah, okay. But I'll look at film anytime you say, Terry, but on that particular play, your big wasn't up. He came off the screen. You're talking about the one, like, the one in the last Two and a half game. minutes to which, go on Which game. one are you talking Wiggins about? Wiggins in your corner. Yeah, so that was like in the last two minutes of the game, last minute of the game? Two and a half, yeah. Okay. Next question is coming from Aaron Fentress with the Oregonian. Aaron, go ahead. Covington and Jones got into some foul trouble. Did that contribute to not being able to maybe handle Curry as much as do some of the things he wanted to do? Uh, not really. Uh, you know, Derek was on him. Uh, yeah, he got in a little foul trouble, but I think he, uh, I think he scored on about no matter who was on him, he he was having success. You know, Gary was on him some. Obviously, Derek and Robert were on him some. So uh, different people, we switched sometimes. So Dame or CJ were on him. So it wasn't a question of uh, – I don't think it was a question of foul trouble. Okay. Also, Nurkic has been pretty up and down, kind of a down night tonight. Is he still working his way back into shape and not where you expect him to be? Um, I don't know. You'd have to ask him about as far as his conditioning. I, I thought Ennis was really good uh, all night, especially in the, in the second half. So uh, stayed with him.